Are you ready to level up your business English? Well, keep watching because that's what you'll do right now. Let's go. In today's lesson, we are going to focus on business English. We're going to change, we're going to turn 10 basic English phrases into advanced business English phrases. These are phrases that we will use in everyday conversation, or maybe sometimes we use it in casual situations at work, and we're going to change it to make it more professional. After this lesson, you will be sounding more and more like a native professional English speaker. So in today's lesson, this is what we'll do. First, I'll give you 10 phrases. We'll change those to the advanced business English phrases. Then after that, we're going to see how these are used in a real conversation. So at this point, it's your chance to shadow along. You're going to hear a conversation. You're going to speak one side. All right. And then we're going to switch and then you'll speak the other side. So this is great speaking practice. The best way to improve your speaking is by actually speaking, and that's what we'll do today. But we're not done yet. After you shadow it two times, we're going to do it one more time. And at that time, I'm going to turn off the audio on one side, and you have to read and speak at the same speed as the English speaker. All right, so there is going to be an extra challenge, a more difficult challenge, where I'll cut the audio and then you will speak in the audio's place. Now, anytime you have questions or comments or concerns, feel free to leave those questions down below. Also, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and hit the notification bell. Okay, let's start with the very first of the 10 phrases. Okay, number one. Number one is the basic English phrase is, can we start the meeting? This is a fine, this is a great sentence. You can use this sentence in many situations, but if we want to level up our English, if we want to speak more like a professional, then the advanced business English phrase is, shall we commence the meeting? Shall we commence the meeting? Now, this sentence has become much more advanced. In this sentence, commence means start. Commence means start. Now, this is not the only advanced English phrase for this situation. There are other sentences, but today I'm sharing with you the one that I think you should remember. But of course, if you have a different advanced phrase, that's great. Share it with me in the comment section. I'm sure everybody watching this would also like to know some more phrases. Number two. I'll do it soon. I'll do it soon. Now, this is also, you know, all of these sentences, when I say they're basic, it doesn't mean bad. We use them in everyday conversation. But sometimes in business, we want to kind of speak a little bit more business like, more professional, more advanced. So I'll give you the advanced phrase for this I'll attend to that promptly. I'll attend to that promptly. All right, so attend to means that you will take care of something. You will do something. And promptly means right away. Number three, I'm not sure about that. Now, the advanced English phrase is, I have some reservations regarding that. I have some reservations regarding that. In this sentence, reservations means you're worried about it. You're not in full support. You're a little bit anxious. You're not sure about something. Number four, can you give me an update? 
Okay, great sentence, but the advanced phrase would be, could you provide me with a status update? Could you provide me with a status update? Number five, I need help with this. Now, if I want to change this into advanced business English, then my sentence would be, I require assistance with this matter. I require assistance with this matter. All right, assistance means help. Require means I need. All right, so that's the advanced version. Okay, so that was the very first five. How did you do? Were you able to understand all of the advanced phrases? Did you already know some of them? Or maybe you had a different advanced phrase. As I said earlier, if you have a different sentence, maybe a sentence that you use at work, maybe it's different from what I said, share it in the comment section. Let me know. Let everybody know. It will be a help to all of us. There are so many different phrases that we can use. Now, I'm just giving you one option, but like I said, there are many options. And so far, I hope you're enjoying the lesson. And if you are, do me a favor. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like and hit that notification bell. I always tell people to hit the notification bell because I do a lot of live lessons as well. They're completely free and you can come join me and learn in real time with me. All right, so next, let's move on to the next five. We'll go six through to 10. Number six, let's finish this today. Now, that's a great sentence, but if we want to level up, if we want to have really good advanced business English, then my sentence would be, Let's aim to complete this by the end of the day. Let's aim to complete this by the end of the day. Now, in this sentence, aim. Aim means that you're going to try. Let's aim to do something. Let's try to do something. That's the goal we are trying to hit. So in this sentence, what is the goal? What am I aiming to do? What am I trying to do? I want to complete this. I want to complete something. When do I want to complete it? By the end of the day. By the end of the day. Now, in a business sense, the end of the day is the end of the business day. We're not talking about midnight. We're not talking about your private life. We're talking about business, the business day. So the end of the business day, you know, depending on where you live, could be 5, could be 6, could be 7 p.m. You know, it, it depends where you live, but the end of the business day, that's what this means. Number seven, I'm leaving the office now. Now, the advanced business English phrase for this is, I'm about to head out of the office. I'm about to head out of the office. Number eight, that sounds okay. Now, the advanced business English phrase is, that proposal seems satisfactory. That proposal seems satisfactory. Number nine, I don't know how to do that. The advanced phrase for this is, I'm uncertain about the manner in which to complete that. I'm uncertain about the manner in which to complete that. Number 10, please call me back. The advanced phrase for this is, kindly return my call at your earliest convenience. Kindly return my call at your earliest convenience. Okay, so that was 10. 10 regular phrases, 10 basic phrases, which we turned into advanced business English phrases. Here, all of these phrases have been leveled up. These are great phrases for you to use at work. Now, we're not done. Next, 
Let's see how these advanced phrases sound in a real conversation. In this next section, you will see and you will hear two people talking. It will be a business situation. And in this conversation, all of the 10 phrases that you've just learned will be included. So you can see how we use this in a real life conversation. Now, what I want you to do is the first person, the first person speaking, I'd like you to shadow along with them. All right. What does shadow along mean? It means I want you to speak and read the sentence that they are saying at the same time. This will really help your fluency, your speed. It will help you remember a lot of phrases. Now, after you do it one time, you'll switch. Okay, but the first time, please shadow along with the first character in the conversation. And also, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like and hit that notification bell. All right, let's practice our speaking now. Good morning, Sarah. Shall we commence the meeting? Yes, of course. Could you provide me with a status update on the marketing strategy? Certainly. We've made significant progress, but I have some reservations regarding the timing of the product launch. Understood. I require assistance with finalizing the content for the presentation. Could you help with that? Absolutely. I'll attend to that promptly. We should aim to complete everything by the end of the day. That would be ideal. I'm uncertain about the new social media strategy. Do you have any insights? Yes, I've reviewed the proposal and it seems satisfactory. I'll refine a few details before we move forward. Great. I'm about to head out of the office for a client meeting shortly and I'll call you after. If I can't reach you, kindly return my call at your earliest convenience. Will do. One last thing. If any changes come up, could you keep me informed? Of course. I'll make sure you receive all the necessary updates. Okay, so now we're going to switch. This time I want you to play the other role. Play the second person and shadow along. Good morning, Sarah. Shall we commence the meeting? Yes, of course. Could you provide me with a status update on the marketing strategy? Certainly. We've made significant progress, but I have some reservations regarding the timing of the product launch. Understood. I require assistance with finalizing the content for the presentation. Could you help with that? Absolutely. I'll attend to that promptly. We should aim to complete everything by the end of the day. That would be ideal. I'm uncertain about the new social media strategy. Do you have any insights? Yes, I've reviewed the proposal and it seems satisfactory. I'll refine a few details before we move forward. Great. I'm about to head out of the office for a client meeting shortly and I'll call you after. If I can't reach you, kindly return my call at your earliest convenience. Will do. One last thing. If any changes come up, could you keep me informed? Of course. I'll make sure you receive all the necessary updates. All right, so how did you do? Were you able to speak at the same speed? Were you, was your shadowing technique good? Don't worry if it was tough. Shadowing is a really tough skill, but it really helps your fluency, your speed. So you can always redo it. Shadowing as many times as you can is really, really helpful. You will really remember a lot of phrases. But now we're gonna take it up another level. What we're going to do now is you're going to read the second person again, but this time you're not going to shadow. What I'm going to do is the second person, I'm going to turn off their audio. So you will see the sentence on the screen. Please read along to it. All right. But the speed of the conversation will remain the same. So that means I need you to speak quickly and at the same speed as the original speaker. Okay, so again, 
I'm going to turn off the audio on the second person. Please speak along with the uh, with this conversation, okay? Speak along with the second person. Good luck. Good morning, Sarah. Shall we commence the meeting? Certainly. We've made significant progress, but I have some reservations regarding the timing of the product launch. Absolutely. I'll attend to that promptly. We should aim to complete everything by the end of the day. Yes, I've reviewed the proposal and it seems satisfactory. I'll refine a few details before we move forward. Will do. One last thing. If any changes come up, could you keep me informed? Okay, so how did you do? Were you able to speak along at the same speed? Were you able to read everything quickly? Hopefully, yes. Hopefully, you sounded like a native English speaker. But if it was tough, don't worry. I know this is a tough exercise. But the more you do it, the better you'll get. The more you speak, the better you'll get. The faster you'll get the more you'll sound like a native English speaker. So keep doing this activity. I've got other videos where you can practice as well. And if you like today's lesson, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give this video a like and hit that notification bell. As always, I'll see you guys all in the next lesson. See ya. Thank you very much for watching today's lesson. Today, we turn basic English phrases into advanced business English phrases, and we practice a sample conversation. If you like today's lesson, and if you think you improved your vocabulary and your speaking, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and hit that notification bell. Until the next lesson, see ya.